Big Bang John. Big John. How did you explain this to your mother? And I'm, by the this, I mean the fact that your life took this course. Well, in I, the general sense, yeah, what do you say to your mother? I tried to keep them well braced in advance of something happening so they could explain it. And I just told them, you know, I had done wrong and uh, I've mean, gotten myself in a terrible mess. And uh, I'm going to do my best to try to... Uh, to correct the wrongs I did. Were they angry with you? Did you have, in addition well, to everything else, they, have to deal with furious parents? That's, that's one of the brilliant of, son going awry? I have very, very loving parents, and uh, uh, they weren't happy about it. They didn't excuse my behavior, but they certainly uh, understood and uh, were very supportive. What about the future? That was actually my original question. What, what would you, what do you project for yourself? What I would plan you? to do more writing. I'll do, be doing work for Rolling Stone. I found... Uh, Maybe you are a hippie in <laughs> action. <laughs> well, you know, that, that's, you know, I had the image of Rolling Stone as being a bunch of kids throwing yeah. together a tabloid, and it's a very professional... Hard-working journalist. Very put professional that organization, yeah. and I uh, was delighted that they're interested in having me do more work for them, and we've agreed that I will and do three or four big pieces and uh, several small pieces in the coming year. Do you find yourself now, I'm going to use a word that I think people can identify with if they've had a tragedy in their life, and I'm putting this in terms of the personal sense of your personal tragedy, not the nation, but you personally. Are you haunted by this at all? Do you have dreams about it? Do you find yourself walking down the street and people give you a funny look where they bristle because of their own illusion of who you are? No, I've not. I've, I've never had any uh, unfortunate instances on the street. In my own thoughts, uh, there's a certain catharsis to having testified openly and honestly, uh, to being able to tell the story the way it was. I plan to put Watergate on the shelf uh, with this book. Not that it's going to be something I'm going to forget, but I don't plan to live in the past. I'm still young and got a lot of years ahead and hope to do a lot of other things with my life. What did you do the night before you went off to prison? Drank a lot. <laughs> Still weren't quite beyond it. No. Now. <laughs> you drank a lot. What yes. were you thinking about that? But you were sent up for what? Was it no, two I, years I originally? I'd really spent the, the weeks uh, before going to prison trying to m arrange things so that it would make Mo as, as comfortable as you can under a circumstance like that. And Mo and I uh, uh, spent that last night alone and just a quiet evening together. Is there something that for you personally, as your life will grow and as you will grow and develop and go in all different directions, that will be an essential truth? that you will apply to situations where you may be tested again and again and again in different ways. Truth that is in your head about what you learned personally from this experience? Yeah, it's to be exactly who you are and not try to be somebody else.